We're back on our Cold War Dark Aether grind here on our second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Jedi saying he wants to do the OTS 9 on Forsaken without Rampage Inducer. So that's what we'll be doing today. I don't know about the Rampage Inducer part though. So the unlock challenge for the OTS 9 was kind of difficult. It's like kill 50 Tempests or something. Let me see. Yeah, kill 50 Tempests within two seconds of them reappearing after teleporting, which is a very specific challenge and 50 Tempests is a whole lot. I played mainly Outbreak or only Outbreak to level this thing up. And I still, after killing probably about like maybe even 15 Tempests, didn't get a single point towards unlocking this weapon. And I'm not playing multiplayer for a game that's a year old. So I just went ahead, used the copy points that i got from the battle pass and bought the ots9 so for future reference if you guys want me to do any other dlc weapons I, I don't know how we're gonna unlock them i might have to just pay for them but i mean it's whatever anyways uh i vanguard i i'm still gonna grind the camos in there but i really haven't been itching to play it also halo and pokemon are out so i've been grinding those but we'll get to that in a minute Anyways, here's our camo challenges, our camo progress for today. I still need to get a thousand kills with the OTS-9, which is a lot more than we usually have to do. I need to get oh, almost 2,000 crits. That's going to be a while. And then another 1,500 pack-a-punch kills. Everything else is done besides infection, and we are level 48, so hopefully we can get two levels here. We have three challenges to do today. Besides our camo challenges, we have to level this up twice. We need to get this thing Dark Aether, or Gold Viper, rather, and... We need to find a new place to grind on Forsaken. But I'm going in with the Ring of Fire. We don't have a whole lot of time to waste because we have a lot of shit to get done. So I'm hopping on Forsaken and let's just go ahead and get this done. All right, here we go. Walking in Forsaken here. This is such a good game, honestly. We didn't know what we had. I can't believe people even attempted to hate on this game. But I forgot to show my attachments. Can I still show them here? I can, okay. We got the Cobra Red Dot. We got the Grow Suppressor. We can probably change that to something else, but don't care. Uh, the VDV Reinforced should be the Cavalry. So there we go. We're gonna have the Tiger Team Spotlight on it. Actually, since we can change it, let's just get that KGB Eliminator at, while we're here. Bruiser Grip's fine. Uh, we're gonna switch to the 40 Ground Mag. This wrap probably Probably not the best for zombies. I still don't know what wrap to use in zombies. I'm going with speed tape. And then our wire stock's probably okay, but that's just sprint to fire time. Anything helping with aim movement? That's good. We'll do that. Our weapon update though. Oh, it did. Let's go. But like I mentioned uh, before we hopped in the game, our truck spot's been nerfed. Like this is where we've been standing, getting everything done. But just to show you guys, I'm going to let a few zombies come in here and show you how the truck works now. I actually have not played on this map since it's been updated, but I'm pretty sure that they just climb up from wherever now and not just right in front of you. So let's see. So obviously they're still going to go over here. I'll just kill these guys real quick. But yeah, they climb up from the sides now, which sucks. I mean, I guess it's fine for round one or... Th oh, geez, it's already round three. I forgot about that. But I, I I, mean, I guess it's fine for round three, four, whatever. But past round 10, you're not going to be using it too much. But let's go ahead and grab our loose change here. And you just say no rampage inducer. I don't know how <laughs> I'm going to stick true to that or even why we do no rampage inducer. I, I don't think it's more of a challenge to not have it on i feel like it's more of a challenge to have it on maybe he just wants me to suffer a little more because i i know you you sick you sick bastards want me to do the zrg again and maybe i'll lift the ban on it someday but i i don't understand the no rampage inducer i'll probably turn it on at some point once we find a place and get set up but also in the last video i forgot to put the comment on by the time i put the video live so this time Hopefully I remember. If I don't, just scream at me in the comments. But I will have a comment there with every weapon that we've already completed so we don't get any repeats when you guys are suggesting your weapons. Also, make sure you suggest what map you want me to do. And I mean, even if like you want to suggest a build or something, we can try it as long as it's not outrageous. But uh, back to what I was talking about before we hopped in game. Uh, I've been uh, pretty busy recently. I've had a whole lot of time to stream as you, you guys might have noticed, but when I have had free time, I've just been playing nothing but Halo in uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Uh, I, I really, like, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Uh, if you guys have seen some stuff in my background, it's all Pokemon stuff. Like, I'm a diehard Pokemon fan. So I'm really happy that Diamond and Pearl was remade. Get to play that a bit. I've been playing that with my girlfriend and then also just like grinding the hell out of it. But then me and the boys have been playing Halo a lot. Uh, Halo was my main game growing up. Like that was my game on the Xbox 360. I played a lot of Halo 3, Halo Reach, even some like ODST. Like I think that's the first game I ever got to uh, like a thousand hours in or something like that. And then all, probably the game that started my my grinding addiction, my, my unlockable grinding addiction with going for uh recon because recon was probably like the biggest flex you could have that was like halo's mastery camo also bloodshed camo but i don't think there's something like that in halo we've just been grinding ranked i think right now i'm plat four 
I'm having a lot of fun playing Halo. So if you guys want to see Halo videos, I'm I'm down to do them. I just don't know how that would go over because I'll play like different modes on COD and people still, you know, won't want to see that. Maybe just a Vanguard thing, but I don't know. Vanguard Zombies has gotten so repetitive that I'm literally only playing to grind camos. Like it's not even really fun playing on its own because there's not a whole lot of content in it, but I'm not going to give up on grinding Vanguard. I'm just going to maybe play a little more Cold War Zombies than I do Vanguard. It seems like you guys like watching that uh more than vanguard anyways but uh i am liking multiplayer in vanguard that doesn't do very well on youtube i think i think multiplayer is kind of a dying thing on youtube unless you're one of like the top top players or a big personality that's been around for a while but i think vanguard's multiplayer is is really good probably some of the best that we've gotten in a long time i'm i'm still training in spawn i need to leave but it's for sure one of the best that we've gotten in a very, very long time. I just think that it's just, it doesn't do too well on YouTube, but Search and Destroy has been a lot of fun. I actually did put out a video of me playing Search and Destroy. Holy shit, Ring of Fire. I'm going to go down. Hold on. Hold that thought. I'm gaming. Let's grab these double points. Head back to the Ring of Fire. There's so many zombies at round nine. What the hell? Okay. We can grab this insta kill as well and keep it moving. But uh, Search and Destroy has been a lot of fun. It's, it's back to like Modern Warfare Search and Destroy. Me and the boys have been playing that. So if you want to see that, uh, I uploaded a video on that yesterday or the, the day the day that I'm recording this. But yesterday for when you guys see this. So that's been fun. I don't know. Vanguard, I was excited for it to come out. And like I said, the multiplayer is still like what I thought it would be. Uh, actually, probably better than I thought it'd be. The zombies just really disappointing. And we've kind of centered ourselves around zombies within the last few months. So I'll be playing a lot more Cold War here. Uh, originally, this series was going to be like the Cold War series. I was going to sanction it off to like once a week. But I don't know. I'm having way more fun playing Cold War. So it probably more than once a week, maybe every other day. So hopefully I can stay true to that. But also... The Pokemon stuff, like I said, it's one of my favorite games ever. It probably is my favorite game if I had to pick one. But I've been grinding the hell out of that. I also got like the dual pack. So I have diamond and pearl. So if you guys want to see me run through pearl, like uh, streaming it or even like videos on it, I, I might be down for that. Let's grab this coin. Please grab the coin. Grab the fucking coin. Thank you. Let's grab this part. We went opposite this time. Usually we go through this door. We got our loose change from mule kick though. Let's hop on through. Look how we... Uh, I'm kiting these zombies. It's only round 10, but I'm nice on the stick still. Let's open this up. Who's got the flashlight? He's not holding it. It's behind the counter for employee use only. Let's go ahead and go to 60 minute photo, which is also a bar, which I don't get. There's intel here I've never grabbed. So let's do that. Grab the loose change from Deadshot and grab Deadshot because we need to start working on our crits right now. There we go. Deadshot is such a cheat code. I will never get over it. I'll say every video. Deadshot is disgusting on controller. Look at this. Look at this. Only headshots. I'm not even... I'm not even doing anything special. Look, tap, tap the aim down sight button and you're good. Ready? Check this out. Bang, boom, bop, all crits. Look, eyes closed. Actually, I should probably open my eyes. So I'm out of ammo, but eyes closed. Am I even hitting them? I'm, I'm not aiming the right way. Okay. Eyes closed. I got to reload. Eyes closed again. Easy crit. I was, I was kind of peeking for that one. I was cheating, but the whole point of that is that shot's busted. Let's open up Burger Town. Let's grab ammo before zombies show up. Grab the loose change. Hop over here and take that. But for those of you that are curious about uh, my my diamond let's play, or not let's play, just how I'm playing it right now. I chose Chimchar as my starter. I normally go like Piplup, but I was like, you know what? Let's change it up this time. Uh, I got a Crobat. I got a Zubat. Got it all the way up. I think I'm also rocking uh, Graveler. I got the Mew and Jirachi and everything from the free gift Pokemon, which is insane that you can get that that early. I'm missing a part, aren't I? I need the TV. So let's go grab that. And then I, the rest of my team's kind of up for grabs. I don't know what to put on there. I kind of want to get like a Togekiss or like a Zoomerill, something like that has fairy typing. I don't know. That's just a little, little insight into my Pokemon stuff. For those of you that are curious, I'll try to keep that uh, down. I know some people just do not care about it but we got all of our parts now let's go ahead build our portal i'm pretty sure they patched our bridge spot too i have no idea where we're gonna, where we're gonna grind camos at actually i kind of have an idea maybe like the donut shop or we can even do uh ronald ray gun's room i normally do that with like the m79 or some sort of explosive or wonder weapon i don't know how that's gonna fare with the ots9 either way i'm gonna grab a few crits before we go through this portal because i'm playing so mindless right now but this is still so much more fun than vanguard Get out of here, zombies. We got one zombie left. Let's just go through. Oh, the boys almost forgot. Ready? That's one, two, three, and the last one. Wait, did they change your picture? This guy hasn't always been here, has he? This guy's always been 
long neck, long head. That looks like a different picture. We're missing one of our original boys. They had to have changed it. Someone's got to confirm that for me. That those aren't the same people. Those aren't our boys. I just kissed a stranger. <laughs> that I just haven't played this in a long time. Let's head this way this time. Let's head through all the nice lab equipment dude i swear if a monster hops out of this portal you gotta like the video oh my god but for real though uh, apparently likes do way more than i thought they did so if you you guys want to like it go for it if not it's whatever but it do help me out abomination come take this d yeah go ahead gas up you're still getting killed don't you shoot at me i'm going right here how are you gonna get me you can't and now you're asleep what happened oh we unlocked the tech nine let's go okay that's a that's a dlc weapon we're not gonna have to buy a bundle for that's pretty cool let's just hop on through we can get pack punch and we can buy phd too all right let's lift lockdown there we go grab loose change from phd and snag it and let's go ahead grab pack punch and put cryo on it we could have grabbed pack punch too right away but i need some perks but while we're up here this is what the ots9 looks like with the first pack punch camo here on forsaken this thing is beautiful pack punch camos really make such a huge difference and honestly this blueprint does not look bad with camos on it like, this is probably one of the better blueprints to put camos on in this game. But now we're back. I was formerly known as the best spot in grinding ever. But now... Actually, I haven't sat here since I've seen what they do. So, I'll see how this works now. Oh, yeah. They're instantly on me. The dogs usually were. And same with some with very close... Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I just got knocked out. I was going to say, zombies with a path thing that's close to the railing would catch you. But now everyone just catches you. I mean, that spot was really broken, so I can't be mad about that. But why the truck? Out of everything, why the truck? Let's grab loose change from these machines. There we go. That's one. Get one from knocked. I'm getting surrounded, so ring of fire. Hopefully I don't die here because I do not have a self-revive or quick revive. So I got to fight my way out. There actually isn't very many zombies right now, but I put down the ring of fire. I'm committed to staying here. Go ahead. Take your time, zombies. Oh, wait. I have a lot of uh, crystals right now. I don't know if my SMGs are fully ranked up. I think I they they must be at least close because I have like seven attachments on them, but I haven't leveled up my stuff of crystals in a long time. Anyways, we need to head back up and we need to go to Wonder Fizz and get some perks. Ooh, we just got thrown there. So let me get PhD for the second time in a few minutes. And then let's hop through and see if we can hit the Wonder Fizz without dying. It's not looking like there's too many zombies here. I'll take out this guy and then try to grab. Quick revive. Stay off. Oh, come on. All right, now they're now they're starting to swarm. Now's a good time to clear out of here and see if there's a nice area like here at the lab that we can grind camos at. I would say up there, but there's two spawns left and right of the portal. Over here, there's a lot of zombie spawns. I really don't want people to... I have a chill time grinding. I think a good spot is actually by the portal that you spawn in over here by the boys. This is like Colonel's office revamped. So we'll try this for a bit because the closest spawns are all right there. There's four of them. The spawns are gonna be faster. Let's just see if we can survive here. That's my main issue. This is kind of like power room on Mauer where it's like, yeah, it's fast, but I'm, I suck. Yep, I'm already in a corner. Good thing we had a stun on us. Let's move around a bit. Easy crits. Okay, round's over. We need to hurry up and try to get to Wonder Fizz. We have quick revive, so I guess we're fine, but we need speed cola. We need death percent so we can start like ranking this thing up so let's get jug speed cola death perception and i think next we'll end up getting mule kick just for the the ammo drop and then we'll get like stamina up and all that but i'll sit here for another round we have a ring of fire to work with we can survive maybe we won't use the rampage inducer unless things like start getting real slow but the rampage inducer is such a nice quality of life thing like it's it, it makes the time in between rounds so fast when you're grinding camos like on firebase when we were grinding the mp5 last time that was clean like it's just sitting there Zombies constantly coming, constantly getting camos. It was easy. Well, let's check our crit progress. 226 out of 359 possible. Pretty good. No, that's not good. Jeez. We just leveled up our 1911 by getting a kill while down there. I really need to keep track of my ammo. And we're already behind on perks again. That's two downs already. Come on. Okay, quick revive. First thing we're getting. Let's buy ammo. I don't think I like that spot. It might have just been because I'm like out of ammo or ran out of ammo there. But I really feel like once we get into the 20s, I'm not going to be able to survive there. Let's go try a different spot. Let's head over here to this zip line to the first town i don't remember the names of these i think one's called any town i don't know what the other one's called but if we head on over here dwight's donuts wait jim's donuts jim's donut why did i say dwight where did i get dwight from but i think standing up here is a pretty good spot not very good for getting out if i need to but it seems kind of fast and i'm relatively safe safe enough to reload for a second the double points we'll take that we desperately need to get our points back up if we want to pack a punch again and get perks shit 
Oh, almost died. But we found out if we jump off to the left there, as long as there's no zombies to the left, we'll be safe. Same with jumping to the right. Jeez. Why'd they have to take away my truck, man? I just want my truck back. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need decoys, so I'll pick those up off the ground. You know what? I'm gonna grab a jug from right here. And then I think I know a different spot. I've seen people sit by death perception in spawn and use that for like high rounding, but that's normally for like a death machine. I'm gonna grab my death perception right here and I'll see if I can survive back here. Cause I know I can't climb up on that and everything in my, my body wants wants me to climb up on that and jump away if we start getting built up here. But I really need to just use my decoys sparingly. Oh, and there's an abomination. I keep wanting to call those Forsaken. But that's not it. And he actually just did a number on me. I'm so lit. RN. Let's take him out while we have a ring of fire. There we go. That's our biggest threat. This spot's working pretty well, I guess. Jeez, that reload is slow. Even with speed cola, I feel like speed cola hardly does anything. Like, it'll speed it up, sure, but not by a whole lot. But since we're here, let's go ahead and upgrade our armor. We'll get that to three, and then we'll upgrade our gun as much as we can. Okay, we got that to blue, actually. That's not bad. That's a good upgrade. We got all three levels of armor and our gun to blue. But I guess we'll chill here till we have enough to get pack punch two and then maybe another perk. So we'll see after a round or two where we're standing money wise. And hopefully something will drop a self revive so we have to use the salvage on it. Oh, that's a double points. We'll take that. Reload, come back. Tormentor, go away. Holy shit. Get back to our spot. Get the hell away from me. Looks like we're gonna have to train a bit, which is not optimal. Okay, we got 17K. We have 470 scrap or blue scrap. So we just save up 30. We can get this gun to purple but i think we might be able to just spend it on a self-revive right now decisions you know what i'm gonna spend it on a self-revive because if i get my gun purple and i still die i mean who's that help if i get a self-revive i can continue playing if i don't die grabbing it hit up the truck for a second so i can reload and then we hop down and then we'll head back to our corner here i'm throwing a decoy down and then ring of fire and you guys can just bring me crits mimic you can bring your crit right to me and get killed dang we kind of just fried through that whole horde yeah i don't know how much i'm liking this I don't know where else we'd go. Because honestly, now that I think about it, the Ronald Ray gun room, like it's nice for high rounding and all that, but you need like a very specific set, like a, a very specific setup to survive in there. And it's not going to be the best for grinding camos because those zombies dropping from the roof, you're not going to get very many headshots on those guys. Like they're just going to keep dropping down and you'll be hitting toes. But speaking of headshots, we're at 389 crits out of 563 kills. Not awful. We're making our way. We just don't have a set home yet. Like if we, we were on the truck, the truck was still only like one spot to climb up from, we'd be chilling. But no, we had to take away our boo we got enough to pack a punch again i'm gonna go do that oh there's abomination holy shit yeah i don't like that they immediately start climbing up the truck now i hate that but we can go ahead and grab pack two let's do that this is what the ots9 looks like with forsaken's pack punch two camo this thing is beautiful that blue and red go together real nice but maybe we try a different spot now let's head down over here so there's two spawns there they'll spawn out of there both out of there there's a lot of spawns on this map i'm, I'm realizing spawns will be there i need to open this up oh here's speed coal might as well grab it since we're right next to it or the loose change from it too I mean, we could sit at the, the ski ball things in the arca arcade, but if we run out of ammo or something, we're screwed. I guess mule kick's right there. I'm gonna grab mule kick while I'm here. I like grabbing it from the actual mule kick machine because it, it works like a trap. It's easy kills. Hmm. It's tough trying to figure out a new grinding spot. There's spawns there. There's spawns there. I mean, this spot in Burger Town's not bad. Let's see. How we easily get mobbed in here. Oh, oh shit. Abomination. That's not fun. Oh, we can kind of block the shots though with the, the counter. Easy kill. These zombies are getting here real slow. Now that I have my, my ring of fire up. I don't know. That spot doesn't seem safe either. Ooh. Does anyone know a good grinding spot on this map now? Let's see. What's over here? There's a spawn here. I think they spawn through here sometimes. Yep. Uh, spawns over here. There's not somewhere I can just post up at where there's only one point of entry for them. I'm so lost without the truck. They took my home from me. Oh, shit. Shit in my ass. I'm not getting cornered. I am getting cornered. There's nothing I can do about it besides run away. I guess I'll try out the ski ball area, but I feel like this is very, very risky to do. Honestly, them nerfing the truck kind of pushes... Uh... Oh, we're level 50 now, so we can start getting jackrabbits. But them nerfing the truck kind of pushes Forsaken down the list a little bit, or at least lowers my grade of the map. Because I liked it because it was super fast and easy for grinding. You're very accessible towards the mannequin and going to pack a punch. And the map's just cool. But when you take out the easy grinding aspect, that kind of pushes it down a little bit. Hmm. Maybe we'll look up here. Maybe a rooftop is a good place to do it. Up here, maybe? But I kind of have to move around, look around. Oh, yeah. Especially if there's mimics here. No thanks. We're moving. Any spawns in this corner here? Because I can kind of stand right here and go for it. Okay. This is working. And if something happens where I got to leave, I can just jump off. Oh, wait. Hold on. This might be the spot. Oh! Look at me go! Oh, never mind. Never mind. They're throwing shit. Don't look at me. Look away. They're All of them are throwing shit. We're leaving. And I'm... God damn it. Zombie, come here. Get the fuck down. Go to bed. No, 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 no. I want to shoot this guy. 
There we go. I thought I was so smart for a second there. I'm like, new pile up spot. We found it. They they try to they try to nerf me, but they can't. They nerf me immediately. I'm sitting there. They're all they're all standing there, not knowing what to do. This game really has a way of toying with you. All right, let's try to grab the mannequin on our way to the portal over here. And then we can try to post up somewhere, get as many kills as we can, and then grab a few perks back. But we are struggling today. Three downs already at round 21. All right, our armor's back. Maybe right here. We'll try this out for a second. This seems pretty decent. Only problem is if I jump off, I'm jumping down into like a horde of zombies, which is not ideal. But we finished the round, so let's go ahead. Oh, corrosion, let's go. Easy jackrabbit and drench camo. Double camo. I don't even remember what I was saying. Besides, that spot, that spot could be dangerous. I'm getting mule kick just so we don't run out of ammo while we're doing this. We'll, we'll take the spot for a spin. Kind of want to go try that roof again, but if they all start throwing shit at me, it's like an insta down. Like, you can't dodge all that. They have auto aim with the, the shit they throw. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking go down. No, get off of me. Maybe if I stand up here, will I throw shit? Probably. Well, I guess we'll find out. Is that Peck talking on the radio? Shut the fuck up, Peck. Peck is too scared to talk to me on Forsaken. I never see his voice lines pop up. He only popped up there because I hit that radio. He is too scared to speak on here. Get the fuck off me, zombie. Peck's way too bitch made. We got 9k. We can afford some more perks. I'm gonna get stamina up just because I feel like the fall damage is gonna help. The speed's gonna help. And we're gonna have to run away a lot, probably. Oh, we got enough to upgrade this to purple, by the way. Let's do that. First, we'll repair our armor, get this purple, and we're one step closer to getting it gold. I still need to save up 26,000 if I want pack three. This spot's working pretty well so far. I mean, for all things considered, but we'll see how it goes once uh, it starts getting to the later rounds. Get the fuck off me, please. Bring a fire. Let's try to survive here with a Forsaken or Abomination. What are you called? I'm going to go down. It go down. It don't. It don't go down. Robert, it go down. It don't. The second I say things are going well, all things considered, I didn't consider a fucking Abomination rolling up on me and eight disciples. This shit sucks. Abomination, please do me a favor and die, you piece of shit. Can you do that for me? Can you die? Thanks, idiot. Okay, so that spot don't work too well either. I'm lost. I'm gonna go repair my armor though. Oh, okay, we already checked down there. Maybe there's a different spot over here that we should try out. Because bagels seemed, or donuts seemed all right. Like the donut shop. They're not the craziest. Maybe right here would be good. We'll try this. I don't see any spawns. But they can climb up this rail right here as long as, as well as going around to the right. Not the most flat ground experience. Maybe we'll try on the other roof next. The one right across from us. Because when I first played on this map, I thought a spot like this would be the go-to grind spot. It's not looking like it. Mm, I mean, it's working better than what we've used before. Also, we've been getting a lot of double points today. I think they know we're struggling and they're trying to help us out. That streamer loot. Okay, we survived the whole round there. Can't be that bad. But, you know, just to test out everything, we'll try over here this time. I don't know if they can climb up from the other side. Maybe this spot's better. Especially if we sit in, like, this corner. That way we have an easy exit. Let's try it. I heard a mangler. Where you at, pal? I just want to talk. Oh, no, they can jump up right there. Max ammo, we take those. We'll just use a ring of fire, too. This ain't that bad. Except for the zombies that have, like, eight-foot box jumps. Because that kind of pushed me out of the way. Contamination camo. We're racking up our jackrabbits now. Camos are coming at such a slower rate now that we don't have, like, a, a fixed spot, a fixed grinding position. There we go. Need a decoy here. Go to the decoy. Dumb fucks. Get lit up. Get torched. This is our glitch camo. Getting very close on getting done with those jackrabbits. That don't seem like it either. This is the spot that I thought was going to be the nice grinding spot. But I feel like this spot's boring too. We're going to have zombies jumping up here, climbing around here. Let's try it. We're going to try everything today. Yeah, let's see where their spawns are at. I'm pretty sure they spawn for, they they'll jump up from over there from the street too. Yeah, it looks like they do. Ring of fire, please. I hate the double bumper ring of fire. Because sometimes it's like, oh, you want to throw your tactical? Oh, no, your lethal? Oh, ring. you wanted to use your field upgrade. That's what you wanted. Okay. I hate the button combinations. I wish I could just plug in one of those old Xbox, like, tight pads or something similar to the bottom of my controller if I'm not using a mic. That'll just give me extra binds for games. It'd be nice to just be able to hit a big button that's like, okay, this is what you do for this. Because that is such an under, underappreciated feature of PC. Oh, I'm going to die. Please don't down me again. That decoy kind of saved my life. I got a nade at my feet. Yeah, I don't like this spot. I'm nuking and I'm out of here. This spot was better than that one. Seems like anywhere I go and I try to post up at, I'm going to die. But we have 47,000. So let's get pack three. Maybe that'll help us survive longer. All right, this is what pack punch three looks like on the OTS nine. This thing is amazing. These This probably has the best set of three. Like this has the cleanest triple set. I don't think they're the best camos in the game. Oh, that's Jack Lantern. I don't think these are the best pack punch camos in the game, but they're the best set of pack punch camos for sure. Let's see if we can survive here for a bit. This seems like our best bet so far. Oh, rotten camo. We're done with our normal kills. So we've gotten like, what, a thousand kills now? Something like that. We can probably check. Yeah, 1,143 at 783 crits. Oh, we unlocked the LC10. That's another SMG unlocked. I'm not getting very many crits now. Okay, well, never mind. I lied. 
We still have the crit champion of the world. Yeah, this is definitely our best bet of a spot. Like, until elites start showing up, we're good over here. That light is extremely bright. It feels like my lights I got up here. No, no, no. Oh, it's that close. I thought this light was super far away, like over there, and it was a giant light. No wonder it's so bright. It's really right here. This spot is not that bad. Unless I go down, then it's awful. So if zombies don't touch me, decoy, go. That was such a clutch decoy. I had no health. I need to get armor back. Stat. Threshold camo. We need a thousand from here. Let's jump off. I just want to see where we're at. 863. So when we're at 1,863, we'll, we'll be done. Jeez, that's so far from here. Especially if we can't stay put and just shoot. It'll be a different story on Firebase, that's for sure. Oh, we're going in now. Abomination's extremely close to us, though. Don't charge me. Oh, you fucking bitch. I hate you. Oh, you're going to charge again? Or are you going to shoot your little beam? Idiot. Oh, that's actually hurting bad. Abomination does so much damage. Please just die. You fat fuck. Oh, shit. Die. Thank you. God. Let's kill these zombies real quick. Never mind. There's no such thing as real quick. I just want to refill my armor. I'm going to get killed trying to do it. Honestly, what do we do for the iron hide? We're in spawn. We looped around and we threw decoys. I'm down to just throw decoys all game. We can throw down some decoys, get some easy crits. It's going to go by a lot faster than what we're doing. So I'm going back to spawn where we can easily refill our armor if there's not a disciple sitting right on it. Thank you. We're also very close to getting, uh, what's it called? Getting our weapon legendary. That's it. So down a decoy. Everybody go to the decoy. Wow. Look how fun. Idiots. Oh yeah. That's going to help so much for crits. We just racked up a whole bunch there. Then we can kind of just move around, train up a bit, maybe even try to take out some elites while we're doing it. The mangler's the biggest one we got to get rid of because he just knocks everything over. So once this mangler's dead like that, we can hop on over here, maybe even hop on this truck, take out the disciple if it'll auto lock to it. Thank you. And now we throw down our decoy and we can get the rest of these guys right here. Holy shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at them go up. We just racked up 50 right there. And we got a level from it. And we're back to three decoys too. Shout out Mule Kick. Not shout out Manglers though. These Manglers are ass cheeks. Fuck off. Let's just end this round. Take out these chumps. There we go. And we have enough to get this to Legendary. So let's do that. Legendary. Let's go. And we can get some armor. We're fully stacked. I'll sit in the corner until there's enough zombies for me to have to bail. And then we'll run around with decoys and all that. We'll get our crits like this for a minute. Grab that max ammo. We're big chilling. Ring of Fire just ended though. So let's move. Not seeing any elites down, which is good. Or decoy. Y'all want to get on it? That's fine by me. That's easy crits. We're down another one. Enjoy that. More easy crits. And this is just going to be the whole video now. Me running around throwing decoys saying easy. And we're out of decoys actually. Oh, no, good thing there's another one on the ground. Come on over here. Grab more decoys. Decoys. What perks are we missing? Like tombstone, elemental for sure. I don't know what else. I feel like we're, we're missing a big one. Get back to our corner. Pop in the ring. Mimic, shut the fuck up. Yo, this is the strat that we needed. Oh, there's an abomination, isn't there? You stupid fuck. I'm gonna hit the nuke. Get all these zombies out of my way. You can take a little bit of damage from it. You little shit. Get lit up. Mimic, this is not about you, dude. Get the hell out of here. What does that sound? I just heard some, some whap in my ear. Yeah, what the fuck? Maybe it's that spot. No! Let's see. No, I'm not hearing it now. That's weird. Yeah, it's when I shoot the abomination over here. <laughs> That's goofy. Abomination, you need to die. Please and thank you. Hold on, reloading. Okay, now you die. Slept them. Let's repair our armor while we have a second. Back to our corner. Back to the streets where we began. Feeling as good as lovers can, you know. We're like 200 crits away, and then we can get out of here. Maybe we'll be able to finish on an exfil round. And I hope we finish before that, though. Oh, 1,069 and 5, 695. It's just been a while since we've shouted out sex. You thought I wasn't going to do it. This is probably as long as it would take if I had to get every single camo for for this weapon, not just crits. Okay, now I do hope I get it at exfil. I hope I get it this round. We should be able to. 1,768, we're one kill off. I just got to make sure I decoy here early and often. Make sure there's no elites to stop up my trains and we should be able to get it done if everything pans out mangler you're you're the first to die i'm coming right for you goodbye 69 sex oh yeah sex 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 is there an abomination this round i thought i saw a big lump of scrotum walking around somewhere nope actually that's just a play count perfect get on the decoy dumbasses get on another one so no no no, no. i was about to say so easy but i almost died I just gotta not speak. I will jinx myself immediately. There we go. Another decoy for you. You know what? Did they say another one? All right, let's do another one. Show me Gold Viper. Where's Gold Viper? Please bring it here. I heard a mangler spawn, so I'm gonna stop doing that for a minute till this mangler's dead. What's up, pal? Please die. There he is. And he's sleep. Oh, we're at 1,819. We're so close. Oh, I know. I just threw one and there's a mangler shooting over here. I don't know where that decoy went. Oh, it's up there. How did that happen? 
That's not even near the direction I was throwing it. Fuck it, dude. Let's buy some more. Fuck the mangler. We're getting these crits anyways. Oh, he's a bitch. Bring a fire. Another decoy going. Mangler sleep. There's gold viper. Let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. Let's sit by the XFL radio and get this thing over with. Vanish camo. Jeez, that took forever. And we're level 200. Let's go. Crazy hitting level 200 only grinding camos on this account. Kind of insane. There's not that many zombies left in the round. So let's just wait. Have them come in here and then we can go ahead and start our expel. What is that noise? It's like there's radio static coming from the radio. I mean, oh, this sounds crazy, but does it normally do that? Either way, we're expelling right now. That's perfect timing. And we now know the optimal route. We had a teleporter, hit the zip line, then hit the portal, back to spawn. I think that is the fastest way. Let's hit the zippy, right to the teleporter, easy. And we're home. So I'm gonna do this. Cashmere, give me two of them. Give me bofa, throwing it down. Enjoy that. Oh, we still have two more. Shout out Mule Kick. Look at the abomination. Frozen in time. Frozen time. I know it's closing time, but whatever. Throw another one. Enjoy it. I'm going to ring a fire and shoot at you while you guys are all getting pulled into it. Especially you, abomination, you piece of shit. Throw another one. We got one zombie left. Where is he? There you are. What's up, pal? Watch this. He's clean. <laughs> that was the dumbest trick shot I've ever attempted. Oh, there's loot right there. Throw the cashmere and hop in. We did it. We got it done. Let's see our final stats. We have... 2,700 kills. Ridiculous. 1,800 crits. We could have just done them all. Zero revives, five downs. Get me out of here. All right, let's take a look at what the OTS-9 looks like with these mastery camos. Here's Gold Viper. Pretty decent. It's looking more gold now. I don't know what's going on with that stock. It's like a wood stock with Gold Viper attempting to go over it. It just don't, does not look right. And neither, neither does my speech, apparently. What? Like Diamond? Pretty clean. Always got good coverage on it. No scratching, no nothing. And then Dark Aether. Best looking camo I've ever seen. So yeah, pretty decent with these with these uh, mastery camos. Let's go see what it looks like in-game with Gold Viper. All right, this is what the OTS-9 looks like in-game with Gold Viper on it. This gold is really sticking out. And also, I don't have the actual weapon unlocked. I'm using the DLC weapon, the bundle version of it. So it does have this big F on it for uh, my time wasted in getting this thing done without that truck. But it still looks pretty good. This, this is a really good bundle blueprint to put camos on. So can't be that mad about it. Also, it has a nice little touch. If you can see down here by the stock, there's two little bars of gold viper. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're done with the OTS-9. It's another SMG down. We're, I think, two out of five now. But this is taking a lot longer than I anticipated. So I'm gonna have to end the video here. If you guys like this, you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please start subscribing, put out all kinds of COD videos throughout the week. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.